Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to a new video. Hope you guys had a good Halloween. I know I did and thank you so much for 8,000 subscribers. That does mean a lot so thank you so much for that. But we're going to be showcasing Shop GUI Plus for today. And this is a premium plugin working on versions 1.7 through 1.16 so pretty much covers all your server bases and this is one of those plugins that I highly recommend you have if you want some sort of economy on your server. You can go ahead and get started with the main command. This is shop and that will bring up your shop menu. There's already pre-configured uh, groups as well as item prices so as you see we have the blocks, foods, ores, tools, armor, uh, dyes, mob drops, farming, and miscellaneous. So if we select the diamonds we can go ahead and remove one. Uh, so say we want to just have like five diamonds we could do that or we could add it to 64. If you want to buy even more there's also additional options right here. So we can buy nine stacks of diamonds which is quite a bit but we have enough money for that. So this also includes a buy and a sell price. So we can do a right click uh, to sell. This brings up the sell GUI. And then we can uh, add one. So say we just want to sell like 12 or something. And we can sell all or we can confirm it. So we're just going to do 12. In addition to the selling option, there is also a sell GUI that is actually free, which is a free add-on which was made by one of my managers in my Discord. So uh, go ahead and check that one out as well. That will be linked down in the description. But this sell GUI, this is what it looks like. So here is the sell GUI. This is using the add-on, so we can pretty much put everything in there. And we can go ahead and close it, and it has the nice titles, and it sold uh, how many items, and it tells us the amount. And it's pretty cool. So this is the free add-on. Uh, for the sell GUI which is a nice feature as well. So besides the normal shop features you can actually add modifiers to specific items which is pretty cool. So to do that you could do shop and then add modifier and then now you can enter either the shop a specific item or it could be globally throughout the whole thing. So this would be useful on skyblock or faction servers if you have some sort of uh, event or cloth event that you want to add a specific booster to sell for specific players or something along those lines. So for example, I'm going to head and do one. So this would be an add modifier and then we can do a specific item within a shop. So now we can do item and then the player's name and then now we need to specify the shop. This would be in the ores category and then now we need to specify the item. So the item represents in the configuration files for your specific category. So in the ores uh, you can find the items and then the number. So as you see, coal is number one. So I'm just going to do a number one. So the values are designated by percent. So as you see right here, the 0.5 is just going to be 50%. So if we do a 0.5, so this would be 50%. And then you can designate if this is going to be the sell or the buy. In this option, we just want the sell. So there we go. As you see, we set the price modifier to 50% for the specific or uh, which is coal. So if I go into the shop GUI, so the sell price is now 50% off of what it originally was and so it is now $5 selling and the default is $10. So we want to give a little a bit better. Say we want to add 150% uh, to the original price. So we could do a 150 so this would be 150% increase of what we did. So if we go back to the shop menu and then go back to the ores, as you see it is now $15 which is uh, added about $5 to what we had. So if we want to bump it up even more we could add even a better percent. So so this would be basically like a thousand and fifty percent. So now if we go back to the shop and check the ores, so now it is selling for $105 and this is only for the specific player for this specific item. So you want to give a whole category in the shop a specific bump in value so this would be we could do the shop and then now we can specify the player's name again now we can specify this is the whole cat category is going to be ores so I'm going to make all the items in the ore shop bump up even more to 2050 percent so now if we go back to the ores so then every single one of these items is actually increased uh, within the ore shop uh, except for the cool because we set a specific item modifier so if you want to remove that specific item modifier we can do shop and then we can do a reset modifier and then this would be item and then the player's name and then now we need to specify so this would be an or shop and then our number one and then we can do sell and that will go ahead and actually reset that 
and then if we go back and everything should be equal so yeah there we go guys now that specific item modifier has been reset and everything else is looking good so that is how you do the modifiers that is a really helpful command just to have it round and so that's pretty much everything with the commands it does hook in with uh, silk spawners and epic spawners and wild stacker for uh, spawners if you want to add that to your shop as well but i'm going to head and go over to the config and show you guys what you can change Heading over to the shop GUI plus configurations in here, this is where is going to be all your main settings. So this is where you can think of with databases, you can change your economy type. This is a lot of various settings if you want it true or false, depending on, you know, whatever your type of server you're running. And at the bottom, this is where you can actually change the buy and sell GUI as well as the main like front page of slash shop. So this is where you can change it. It is all in the main config. And then the shops is going to be where each one of your specific categories are going to be held and for example if we go into the ors.yml this is where you can have the ors this is the name the size this is the fill item so wherever anything is not this is going to be filled in with black stained glass pane uh, and then make sure your item ids match whatever server version you are running so just be aware of that and everything is pretty self-explanatory to be honest uh, pretty simple stuff you can do the buy and sell material uh, how much much and the specific item there's quite a bit of things that you can actually change in here uh, so make sure you guys uh, check that out and if you don't want to spend all your time just configuring all the different types of shops there's quite a bit of pre-made configurations for this plugin I just want to give a quick shout to Mackenzie Malloy and specifically to his uh, shop GUI configurations so if you guys need a great clean configurations for your shop GUI plus be sure to hit him up his discord link will be down in the description he does uh, configurations for many other plugins as well as bot and plugin development so it's just kind of a, a service discord so if you guys need something along those lines be sure to check it out link down in the description but that wraps up my showcase of shop gui plus hope you guys have a wonderful day i will see you guys in the next video peace out